Hey everybody, it's the Zigzag Wanderer. You know, I was trying to think of what to do today for the Zigzag Wanderings and I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could just ride this bike? And now, I can't do it because first of all, it's not mine. And secondly, it's chained. It's chained to the ground. So, you know, why do you think this bike is chained to the ground? No? I don't have idea, no. No? That's not our business. Yeah, maybe, maybe the bike is not my place to be. I mean, I think that's what he said. I'm, I'm not absolutely certain, you know. So, all right. So, what else can I interact with? Ah, finally, a cart. I can do something with a cart. You know, it's just. Whoops. Oh, not only is it smelly, it's, it's. It's, it's chained. Even the cart is chained. You know, maybe, maybe these are valuable goods in here. You know, like, um, plastic. Someone's recycling plastic. You know, it's got, you know, you get the deposit for the cans and the plastic bottles, like five cents. So I see, let's see, five cents, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, maybe at least 50 cents in here. You know, but, it's chained, so I can't. Why do you think this is chained? Like, why is this car chained? Like, why? because it's who expensive. Chained? You don't know. Don't you see the but expensive stuff inside? That's of it? what I was wondering. The, the expensive stuff in here. Why? If you had a car, it has to be. Has to be. Why, you know? why? Why would you chain it? Because if they didn't, I would take it home. You would take it home. I would take it home. What would you do with it? I would. I would, I would take him table. home. I would take him home. Oh, interesting. It. So you would get into this, and he will push you that's home. That's the way to do it. With the things inside? No, but that's not the With only the You can do a lot. Like that's what? That's what I'm saying. Because you can do a lot, they would, they would... Oh, you it. put it underneath. Will you deposit the bottles and get your five cents back? No, I would give that to the lady who does that. There's a lady in the Oh, I does see. That. Oh, yeah, it does kind of smell. But that's interesting, though. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Well, think about you know? that and everything in life, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, the thing is... There's not a, lot, a whole lot I could do with a chained cart. Maybe, maybe I'll have better luck over here. So I wander around and um hello oh they're waving why do you think the shopping cart is chained from the shopping cart all right oh even the dog is chained you know it's I guess they don't want me to dog nap the dogs that's where the dogs are chained oh another cart oh this is a good one because this is this is some kind of trolley this Oh, this is chained as well. All right, so I'm sorry, folks. For all of you who, who were really looking forward to seeing me, you know, push, push a cart and, um, hey, it's a Whole Foods cart, and push this thing, you're not going to see me do it because it's chained, you know? Why do you think this thing is chained? You know, like, why? Why is it chained? Do you chain your truck? I mean, my God. Imagine parallel parking that truck. I mean, wouldn't that be like a nightmare? You know, I... If I was a truck driver and I had to parallel park that truck, I would be, I think that would be like the most depressing part of my job, but it wouldn't be so bad, you see, because if there was a car here and a car here and I have to parallel park it, I think I will end up hitting the car in front of me and hitting, you know, the car behind me. So, you know, so much for parallel parking a, a truck, you know. I, why do you think these shopping carts are chained? Do you know why these are chained? Why are these shopping carts chained? <sighs> well, that was just the most strangest response I've ever seen. It was called a no response. You know, you ask a question and you get no response. So I guess it happens sometimes. Why do you think the shopping cart is chained? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know either why it's chained, but I guess... <sighs> Sorry, folks. If you were looking for a really exciting zigzag, I guess this was not it. What do you know? Even, even the fire hydrant is chained. Today is what I would call like a really chained day. Everything was chained and nobody cared why, why it was chained, you know? 
Like watch, I'll ask these people across the street. I'll either get a no response or a, I don't know. What, what, who, why would you chain a shopping cart? Why would you chain a shopping cart? Like a shopping cart, would you chain a shopping cart? What? Yeah, why would you chain a shopping cart? Why would you, why would you chain a shopping cart? See, it's just, see these shopping carts are chained. Why would you chain, chain it? Well, I just want to know why would someone chain it? It's like a purely hypothetical question. Do you have an answer? So no one would, st so no one would steal it? You know, oh, it looks like someone across the street has an answer. So let's see, let's see if we could finally figure out why these carts are chained. It's funny because I got a question with a question. Someone asked me if I chained it. Do I look like the kind of person that goes around chaining shopping carts? Well, probably, but that's beside the point. All right, so why, why would you think these shopping carts are chained? Like, do you have a good reason as to why these shopping carts are chained? Yes, I do. I hope you're not going to kill me in the process of telling me, but go ahead. If I answer correctly, can I get a pair of our slippers? Yes, you can. Nice. All right, so why, why, would, why are those shopping carts chained? So nobody steals it. So nobody steals it? They cost $95 each. Oh, they do? And a very, uh, very hard-working man parks his truck there every morning. Okay. Takes out his wares to sell. Oh. And brings them over to Fulton Street. And he transports them in that cart. So he locks it up. So when, at the end of the day, he comes back, puts them in the cart, goes into the parking lot, puts it in his truck, and goes back to Brooklyn. Wow. That was an in-depth answer. Mm -hmm. You know, that's fine. It's an interactive video. Well, you want my slippers? Just what would you... Want new pair. I want a drink uh, out of your slippers. Oh, but this is getting creepy. We go around the corner to Nelson Blue. They have some good scotch over there. Like you know, to... I think drinking out of my slippers is not, not the best thing you would really want to do. He's, but, uh, he's in the NYU film school. The NYU film yeah, school? We do anything at that school. Oh, but you don't drink out of someone's slippers. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I don't think it'll be very tasty, the drink if in you question. Have a boot, I'd rather drink out of that. You get more for your dollar, more for your price. Well, there, I see a lot of boots on the street sometimes. Would you drink out of a boot that's on a street? Why is Italy shaped like a boot? I don't know. I guess people do drink out of Italy. I'm not sure. You can't fit all that stuff in a tennis shoe. <laughs> uh, that's true. Mm -hmm. I will thanks a lot, guys, for your time. Right. I really right. appreciate it. And now I've got a good answer right. to a question I was just dying to find out. Right. So you've given the most in-depth answer. It's an age-old question. It's an age-old question. So this guy transports his wares inside that cart exactly. to, to sell? That's right. What kind of wares? Uh, mostly pictures of uh, Nelson Mandela. Really? Uh, with African frames. He's got all kinds of wares from Africa. So Nelson Mandela was in that cart? Yes. Mm -hmm. He was pushing around Nelson Mandela in that cart? Nelson Mandela has been in tighter spots than that cart, believe me. Oh, I see. Interesting. Who'd have thought that? Mm -hmm. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. So, you know, we finally got an, you know, an answer to, you know, hey, did you guys know that Nelson Mandela was in that shopping cart? He was in there? Yeah. Oh, really? He was being transported. Did you know that? No, I didn't know. What would you do now with this new information? Keep walking. Forget about it. Oh, interesting. So, well, now we finally found out some news. Nelson Mandela was in the cart. What a, what a productive, you know, zigzag this has been I think what we need to do now is you know contact the uh, history channel and the discovery channel and perhaps they can frame this cart and you know what they could say they can actually say uh, Nelson Mandela was here you know like I was here hey did you know Nelson Mandela was in this cart no no, no. so they say no. they said this guy squeezed do you know Nelson Mandela was in this cart I didn't know that. you did oh he did oh isn't he a smarty all right then so I tell you folks you know how you go around saying, I was here, Miss Divine was here? Hey, Nelson Mandela was here. And I don't know how incorrectly political, or uh, what is it, Imp unpolitically incorrect, or whatever the hell that phrase was. See, I don't remember that phrase because nothing is ever, you know, incorrect in a political way. But Nelson Mandela.